Oil catch cans. Are they worth it? How much oil was in my oil catch can after about 7,500 miles of regular driving, spirited driving, daily driving, highway driving? Stay tuned, I'll show you. Oil catch cans. Are they worth it? How much oil was in my oil catch can after about 7,500 miles of regular driving, spirited driving, daily driving, highway driving? Stay tuned, I'll show you. All right, so right here is where I have my oil catch can attached. I have it coming in with the UPR uh, hoses going from the manifold and I have a ported manifold as well as a ported throttle body to get a lot of extra air in there but I don't want any of this goopy stuff making its way into that manifold so I have this which attaches to the bottom of that oil catch can let me show you how much was in there so this is what the catch can looks like when it's taken off in there is steel well steel wool you can use any type of material or something spongy to absorb that uh, air which has the condensation or as condensation to pull the oil fluids if there's fuel residue or other stuff so that doesn't make its way into the manifold and then gunk stuff up so here are some paper towels of what i was able to absorb out of that once i was able to get that amount of oil and goop out of the catch can so i'm not sure if this is a hundred percent oil it smells a little bit like fuel a little bit like oil and a little bit like god knows what but that's a pretty significant amount. That's the bottom of a water bottle, okay? I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want that much goop going through my intake manifold. And so as a result, that can get just gooey in there. The manifolds are often plastic, and I know they're meant to handle petroleum-based products, but a petroleum-based product may eat away at that or at least gunk it up. And if that gets into the valves, if that gets into the uh, intakes, it can cause problems. So for however much money that costs, and there's all different ones, anywhere ranging from $50 on Amazon all the way up to a couple hundred bucks, they do serve a purpose and I do think they're beneficial. So unless you want that much oil making its way through, get an oil catch can. I have one, I recommend them, I think they're great. Stay tuned. All right, so that's what the catch can looks like when it's reinstalled, it literally just screws in. In fact, that was the hardest part of the whole thing was just making sure you don't cross thread it and that's not hard. Um, I have these UPR Quick Connects. Uh, a lot of them come with a band that you can tighten up. I think those are junky. This gives you a nice click. You know that's on, that's not going anywhere and it's gonna be airtight. That's how you click it back in. It screws in. I actually screwed it in um, with one of the bolts here onto the frame so that that's on there really solid, good. It's not going anywhere. And again, air that comes in, air that goes out, going back into that air to intake manifold, keeping it clean. Big, big thumbs up for me. This thing's definitely worth its money. And if you want to know how to install one of those, which is really not hard at all, watch my other video on how to install the catch can. Stay tuned for more. Like, share, subscribe, Joe's Garage. Woohoo!